Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, January 10th, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today I made live the follow-up to Renato's blog from Monday. On Monday, Renato was talking about how WebLogic exploits are being used to install crypto miners. This is something Renato and myself have been working on for the last week or so. And we got a number of different reports from readers about them seeing their WebLogic servers. And with that, typically PeopleSoft servers being exploited. Now, one nice facet about this was that one of these leads actually led us to a log of infected systems for one of these campaigns. We also were able to look at some of the statistics of the mining pool that some of these systems were connecting to. The Monero mining was in particular lucrative in this particular case. And over the lifetime of the account, which exceeds the lifetime of this particular campaign, this account made about $250,000 mining Monero and they had a good sort of jolt kind of in the end of December when we think that this particular exploit started to be used. Now, a couple days ago, the exploit was also altered again and Renato came across a version that does now implement a reverse shell. So certainly if you do see a system that has a crypto miner running, don't just assume that the crypto miner is the only thing that was able to abuse this particular vulnerability. And then we got Microsoft's patch Tuesday. About 50 different vulnerabilities are being addressed. Spectre, Meltdown, of course, getting sort of the top billing here in uh, this particular update. But uh, one thing that you shouldn't forget about that, well, uh, there are a number of uh, vulnerabilities that are being addressed here that I would actually consider more severe than Spectre and Meltdown. For example, CVE 2018-02. It's a Microsoft Office memory corruption vulnerability. Microsoft only rates it as important because, well, it requires that you actually open an Office document, but it can lead to remote code execution. And imagine that it has already been exploited in the wild, according to Microsoft. Now, this is the only vulnerability being addressed this month that is being exploited in the wild and that has been disclosed prior to a patch being released. Of course, Microsoft here considers Spectre and Meltdown to be patched before details about these vulnerabilities were released. Adobe also released an update for Flash, this time only patching a single information disclosure vulnerability. And speaking about Spectre and Meltdown, well, uh, more news about some of the bad side effects of uh, this particular update. It looks like systems with certain particular older AMD processors are having problems with the patch and are crashing as a result. Microsoft has removed the patch as a result for uh, those particular CPUs. And Jim Glossing noted a marked increase in scans for port 3,333. Well, imagine that. It's, again, cryptocurrency related. A lot of uh, these uh, cryptocurrency miners are using this port to connect to mining pools. Now, not really clear yet uh, why people are scanning for this particular port. But uh, if you have an idea, if there isn't a certain exploit or so that uh, they're going for, uh, that uh, may be kind of interesting. We have certainly seen that uh, scans are being used, for example, to find geth wallets that expose the JSON RPC API that is being offered, uh, but with port 3333, the only thing you typically do is that you essentially connect to these mining pools and you send your mining results and uh, you pick up uh, new mining tasks from a mining pool. So scanning for that in itself uh, wouldn't really be all that useful. But if you have any insights uh, here, uh, please let us know. And this is certainly a port to look 
look for if you do see outbound traffic on port 3000 333 it may be an indicator that a system in your network is participating in crypto coin mining well and that's it for today so thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye